Hi, I'm Chris Richardson, the founder of Power Induced Design. If you watched episode zero, you probably weren't too excited. Unless you're a power electronics engineer like me and you know all the exciting ways a power supply can go wrong. Now it's time for the fun stuff and you don't need to be an engineer to appreciate it. So what is Dream Glass? I'll let the video speak for itself. Hi there, this is Chris Richardson. I'm making a series of videos called Fun with Power Electronics. This is the first one. What we're looking at here is a piece of Dream Glass and I've developed a circuit for my customer Intercomet. They're based in Madrid here in Spain. And When I flip the switch you can see my trusty lab assistants here. And if I flip the switch again, they disappear. And that, in my opinion, is fun. Usually I have to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, that says I can't talk about what I do for my customers. So it's great fun for me to work with a customer making commercial products that actually wants me to talk about them. A standard piece of dream glass is basically a big one pixel LCD screen with no backlight. What I'm calling a driver here is in fact a special power supply but with a much more interesting output. Depending on where you are in the world, you feed it with 120 volts or 230 volts AC. It puts out an isolated, meaning safe, lower AC voltage, and presto, it becomes transparent. If you want to know more about them, you can look at Dream Glass Group's technology page. When I said that Dream Glass runs on AC, I think I should have explained more. That means alternating current, like the yellow waveform in this image, which is going above and below zero. There's also DC, which stands for direct current, and that would come from something like this battery pack here. These are four double A's. So if I zoom in here on what the oscilloscope is saying, you can see that we have about six volts DC. That means it never goes below zero. It could be also negative and it wouldn't go above zero. So the big difference between AC and DC is that AC goes above and below, as we can see in the picture in the yellow, and DC always stays either above or below zero is in the pink. All right, that's it for episode one. I hope you said whoa during that video when the dream glass went transparent. I still get a kick out of it. Feel free to write me or find me online and I'll be back with more fun power electronics in episode two soon. Thanks.